Hey everybody, uh, I'm going to demonstrate some new OSC devices. I uh, got some requests about some features, and so I figured I'd try to get all that going. And I'm trying to do microphone camera combination thing. And looking at a new program here called Yannix, uh, which you can get from yannix.org. Uh, it's an amazing program. Just Google I A N N I X. It's kind of a visual sequencer, if that makes any sense. So basically, you can create sort of objects. Like in this case, I've created these little three little circles here. And um, they are actually paths, and this is a cursor on each of these paths. And I hit play, you see these cursors kind of wander around. Not wander, I mean, they're, they're going to circle around these circles. Um, they're not wandering at all. But uh, you'll see as I hover over them, the hover over the cursor itself, um, you can see the OSC messages that they're going to wind up sending. Like in this case, this is cursor 2. You can see the address there. Um, 127, uh, yeah, port 8000 cursor 2 test. And then this one is uh, just plain cursor. And this one is called like cursor 1. And it has a bunch of parameters that it sends. So anyway, all right, so that's going to be happening in the background. And I'm going to come over here. Here's the new device uh, we're going to look at. Uh, it's this multi OSC receiver. Uh, uh, okay, so I click map. I come over here. And if I hit play, it will, you'll notice, we'll come back over here, we'll see there's this transport message it received, cursor message, cursor two test, cursor one, um, and uh, as they play, you'll see some of the values are changing. Now this column here tells you of the parameters it receives, like see down here, cursor, uh, cursor, then two, then a bunch of numbers along with it. So each OSC message can have multiple uh, parameters in there. So the second one tells you which of those parameters to listen to. So let me set these all to like one, right? Whoops, one. And you notice now they suddenly they're not changing anymore because in this case uh, it just sends a cursor ID as the first parameter. Uh, so say I set it to two. Uh, it's still not saying anything exciting over there. Three. Okay, now we're getting something interesting. So three is like the X value. Um, all right, so you can do that. And then you can also say copy that address. And I'm going to paste that here. So now that one I'll have four. Okay, so now I have an X and a Y for that one. And I'll come up here. I'll click the number next to it for assigning purposes. Now uh, let's say map. Uh, map that to volume, which is already mapped, so I can't. Map it to uh, that volume. So now you see the volume going up and down. And say I'll click on that one. I'll say map that to master volume going up and down. So you can see as things are happening here, as these circles are moving around now, the values are being received as an OSC message. And I'm going to turn mapping off. If I click mapping again, then it's going to remap everything. You lose the mapping you have, assign new mappings. Um, and so you can use it to, you know, any program that you have that can send out OSC stuff or any device you have, any, you know, touch OSC, iPad, all that kind of stuff, you use this kind of stuff. So you can have up to nine independent uh, API assignments within this particular multi-assignment thing. And you can, or you could have like, you know, all one address if you wanted with different, you know, the different parameters in there or nine different addresses or whatever you want to do. All right. Uh, Till next time, take care. Hope it's useful. Uh, have a good one. Bye.